So to talk a little bit more about the pediat pediatric priority review voucher, the companies who want to uh, avail themselves of this voucher have to meet five prerequisites, basically. They've got to be targeting a disease that's indeed a rare disease as per the Often Drug Act definition. Uh, they have to be looking at a disease that's prevalent in the pediatric population, primarily. They also have to get a designation from FDA for the disease, that it's indeed a pediatric rare disease. They have to submit the NDA with all of the clinical data they've obtained by doing the pediatric studies, including the correct dosing information. And then when they submit their pediatric rare disease NDA, they should not seek an adult indication approval in the same NDA. So those are five important qualifying uh, prerequisites for companies who want to get this PPRV, PPRV's Pediatric Priority Review Voucher. Um, then there are also conditions or requirements that the FDA has imposed upon companies that have such a voucher. The first being that uh, the company has to let FDA know 90 days in advance of submitting the NDA that they're going to be using the voucher for the follow-on NDA. Uh, they also have to pay an incremental user fee to make up for the difference between a normal review and a priority review at FDA because to do this priority review, FDA is going to use more resources and more time, so they have to pay that incremental fee to make up for the difference. Then they also have to market their product within one year after getting approval. If they don't market their product, then FDA can revoke the voucher and withdraw it. And then the last requirement that they have to meet is submit a report to FDA five years after they put the drug on the market. And the report has to tell FDA what is the incidence of the rare disease, what is the uh, demand for this product in the US market, and how much product they actually distributed in the US market over the four-year period after they got approved.